What's up everybody, if you that don't know me, my name is Chris, aka Mr. Grow It, and you're watching my extras channel. This is the Vivo Sun 315 watt CMH grow light, and in this video I'm going to do a PAR test. I'm going to use the Apogee MQ500 PAR meter. This meter measures from 389 nanometers to 692 nanometers, plus or minus 5 nanometers. And the measurements are in PPFD. I'm just doing this so you can get a general idea of what the power output is. It's not going to be 100% accurate. Measurements are taken in a grow tent, so the reflective material could increase the power output. So keep that in mind. Also, this light uh, has a flowering coverage area of 3 foot by 3 foot, and this is a 4 foot by 4 foot grow tent. So I'm not going to be going all the way to the corner of the grow tent. I'm going to try to keep it in a 3 foot by 3 foot space. I'm going to take measurements at three different distances. 12 inches, 24 inches, and 36 inches. Uh, these are pretty standard distances for CMH grow lights. Just like all the other part test videos I do, I will let the measurements do the talking. What do you think about these measurements? Let me know in the comment section below. A link to this grow light is in the description section below. I do have more part test videos coming out here soon. Which one do you want to see next? I have the Green Sunshine Company's ES300, the Solar Extreme 500 by California Lightworks, and I also have the Sun System uh, 315 watt CMH grow light. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please click that thumbs up, and I will leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace.